wonderfully. I love it. We're going to give you an opportunity to meet Peter Wiebe. Now, you may know him, but this morning you're going to get to know about him, and that'll be a wonderful thing. Peter, would you join me? I have the questions all out here. I don't have the answers written out, though. <laughs> oh, well, then I guess we better pack a lunch. <laughs> uh, it says you've been ministry a long time. How many years? Well, I started in 51, and if you consider this still being in the ministry, that would be how many years? Oh, gosh, 16 well, plus 49 is uh, 65. 108. Somebody's got his right mind yet. What did they say? He said 108. Oh. <laughs> uh, no, well, he said 58. 58. Well, that's, you know, that's pretty good. That's good. You, you'll probably die with your boots on. <laughs> Never had boots. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what Joel says. He, oh, I'd love to. You're love called to ministry, but you never yeah. stop being in ministry. Is that right? I hope that that, is, uh, that would be my desire. Give us a little idea of the various roles and uh, responsibilities you've had over your ministry life. I was born in Canada and came to the United States for my theological education and to find my wife. I couldn't find her in all of Canada. Really? Yeah, and so... Wow. I had two reasons for going to the States, and then I became a citizen. Uh, I had the call to the ministry early in life, and uh, when I was through school, the Lord called me to a congregation in Indiana, from Indiana to Kansas, from Kansas to Ohio, and from Ohio here. I average about 12 years in each congregation. Wow. Five years to get to know the congregation and to launch the program, five years to work it, and two years to get out of there. <laughs> uh, it does take a while to yeah, have an exit uh, plan, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. It does. To transfer it. Mm -hmm. uh, everyone who's involved in ministry, and that would be all of us because the priesthood mm -hmm. of believers, um, have unique gifts and skills. What, what might be some of those things that God has gifted you with? Well, I, I thought my first calling was to preaching, Secondly, to pastoral care. I always felt those two belong together. The third thing I thought was very important to have a program so that people could be involved. Mm -hmm. So those three priorities, to, to preach, which is to get ourselves together under the Lord, pastoral care, to meet personally with people and to minister them. Some of them can't come out. And then to involve everyone in some way through program. Oh, that's wonderful. You know, really, everyone needs to be involved in the ministry of the church. That's right. It's not just up to you or no. to me or to Joel. We all get to lay on hands of, mm -hmm. of various activities. So that's good. Thank you very much. Um, you're no longer pastoring a local congregation. What is it that involves mm -hmm. or captivates your time right now? Well, I'm always glad for a chance to come here, which, uh, which is always a privilege to preach because that's the joy of my life. The second thing uh, I do, we do uh, some visitation, and we visit some of you here. We visit other people in the community. But uh, the third thing, we've been involved in creating uh, programs that meet needs. We have a developmentally challenged program in, in right, we live right next to it. It's right next to the church. And uh, this is a joy. We have right now 12 uh, people who are physically, mentally challenged, and uh, we provide a home and a spiritual nurture program for them. The second thing we like to be involved in is the International Relief Center, which we have at the end of Olive, not at the end, Olive and 43rd. Uh, you know, in Phoenix, Phoenix gets more uh, refugees. Well, it's the fourth largest center in the United States of getting refugees. And when they come to the uh, airport, the first place they come to is at Olive and 43rd, where they are outfitted with clothes, where they're where given uh, a residence. Uh, we, we rent a residence and uh, where they're given food and supplies. And then they get the English language and they get the nurture. It's a fine Christian lady who's in charge of that. I think Phoenix now has resettled in the last couple of years 14,500 people. And they have been very carefully screened so that they will fit into our community 
and it's been a joy. This week I met two ladies, one who had been a refugee for 23 years, and she'd lived in a tent for 23 years. And uh, she was a refugee from Thailand. Another lady who was a refugee more recently from Yugoslavia, uh, because she was a Christian, and years ago, you know, that went communist for a while, and she had been a refugee for 13 years. Mm -hmm. These are delightful people in our midst to whom God has called us, and it's a joy to be a part of. And there are other programs like Home wow. Repair is such a wonderful, for, for aged people. There are a lot of aged people who need their homes repaired. We have a program. We have a visiting nurse in the community. When we meet people in their homes, oftentimes they, um, they're needy physically, and that's why they're in poverty. Uh, we have a visiting nurse who, who's a part of our program. Uh, lots of programs like that. That's a joy to be part of that. You know, I, I, if I pray for you specifically, I'm going to pray that you have some energy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, that's, what I, that's what we need. It's, it's wonderful. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I really shouldn't ask you, but tell us how old you are. Well, uh, I'm not 90 yet. Okay. Yeah. Well, the point is that <laughs> even at your mature age, you're still finding productive activity yeah. in changing and impacting people's I, lives. I praise the Lord that I have because... It's wonderful. That is not everybody's gift, as we all know. No. And it, it's one of the gifts and the grace of God. So I want to be faithful as a steward of what I have. You probably have a variety of prayer needs. And Cheryl Chaplin Polovich is going to pray for us all and you in just a minute. What specifically would you invite us to pray for? Well, the thing you already have mentioned, that I would have the health and energy to serve because the greatest joy of my life is to be in ministry. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I, I would say that uh, for Rita May, I, we've been married 60, almost 66 years. I think we should have 75 and then see whether we could renew it with the Lord in a new contract. I have a question for your wife. Is he trainable? Slowly. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's very nice meeting you. Blessings Lord, blessings you. on you.